This is Samsung Portable T7 Shield 4TB option and I've been using it for the past two weeks and I absolutely love it. So here's what's in the box. First we have the drive itself. And we have the two USB Type-C cable. One is USB Type-C, two USB Type-A cable. And the other is the USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, which I'll be using for the most part. And that is it for what comes in the box. Pretty simple, straightforward. It's just the drive and the two cables and pretty much what you need. Starting off with the design, for the capacity of four terabytes, and to put that into perspective, that's 4,000 gigabytes, it's a very small device. For comparison, I have the T7 Shield standing next to the first generation AirPods. It's basically the size of two AirPods side by side, but way slimmer. I like the stylish rubberized grip, which is there to prevent slips so it stays in your hands, but it also does collect dust, which I will talk about later, but in short, I'm not a big fan. For more size comparisons though, here we have the T7 next to my last two hard drives that I've been using for years now. Clearly, compared to these one terabyte hard drive, the T7 7 is way smaller, has a modern design, and an excellent build quality that feels great in the hand. So overall, for design, it's a very nice, slim, modern looking device, and I definitely like it. Before we talk about performance, it really depends on your needs. And personally for me, when I bought this solid state drive, my main use case would be for, you know, being a content creator. So for storing all my 4K footage, for storing all my images, audio files, other personal information, like, you know, documents. And so that's my use case and that's what I need it for. I really needed something that's better than my hard drives, which I've been using for years and they're kind of slow. Like that's when I came to realize like I need a really good storage option. That's not my computer because my computer is also running out of space. It only has five, 12 gigabytes. And especially when you're filming or editing in 4K, the space runs out fairly quick. So overall, when it comes to performance, according to the box of the product itself, it is set to go up to 1050 megabits per second for read speed and 1000 megabits per second for write speed. And in order to really test this and to show you guys what the actual speeds are like, I'm going to transfer a file that is 118.23 gigabytes into the drive and it will show you the write speeds are as it's happening. Throughout the transfer process, you know, I can actually confirm it does go up to a thousand gigabytes write speed and to be more exact I got a maximum write speed of 1.1 gigabytes per second but on average for transferring the file I was getting around 592 megabytes per second so overall it's pretty impressive I guess compared to what I'm used to especially the hard drives are far slower in terms of read and write speed and here we can see the write speeds are getting up to 1.1 gigabytes and that's fairly fast overall in order to transfer this file it took around three minutes and seven seconds and that's also pretty fast to transfer over a hundred gigabytes of file into the drive and personally for my use cases I'm pretty impressed with that and that's what I'm looking for so it definitely fits my need. Moreover, I also ran the Geekbench test, which is basically taking a gigabyte file, and I believe it, it does this like six times. It's transferring the file into the drive, and then it's taking it out, it's reading the file. So, so it will do a sequential read, it will do a sequential write, and it will give you, you know, what those speeds are like. And as you can see, according to the results, 883 megabits per second the first time I tried it for sequential read. And for sequential write, I got 865 megabits per second. And this is all the first time I ran the test. I ran the test again and the second time I got 887 megabits per second sequential read speed and for sequential write I got 857. So as you can see it's around the 800 megabits per second overall. In the box it's saying it's up to a gigabytes per second speed but ideally for the most case you'll be getting around 800 and that's that's fairly good for my needs. It supports USB 3.2 gen 2 which can do up to 10 gigabits per second or 1.25 gigabytes per second and thankfully that is supported by the USB ports on my M1 MacBook Pro and it works flawlessly. 
One thing I would like to note though, in order to take advantage of the device's full potential, you will need a USB 3.2 Gen 2 compatible device, or else you will be bottlenecked by slower USB standards. Other than that though, when it comes to performance, I'm definitely impressed. Let's talk about the durability and portability. It is said that it's it's dust, water, and up to three meters of drop resistant. And I'm going to just take their word for it. This is my only drive. I don't want to actually test those out. From, from the build quality and my experience so far, it seems like a very solid drive. And it does support dust, water, and up to three meters of drop resistant, which is great. But can they also make it like dust particle repellent? Because look at this, all these dust particles, just like it came out of the box like this like I tried to wipe it off with the microfiber rather than like actually taking some of this stuff off of it it seemed like it collected more from the microfiber itself particularly I'm not a fan of that but I think that's due to the rubbery type of texture on the device itself I mean I'm not complaining because it does have the grip and all but at times when it's like you know sunny out or something or just you just pull it out in the sun and you just see all this dust it does bother me a little bit but maybe I'm just being a little little picky but other than that Overall, it's super portable and it can fit anywhere. So it's it's ideal for having it on the go. Just put it in your backpack and, you know, take it to a cafe or just, you know, work on it on the go, like in the car. Like it's very portable, very small, so it doesn't take much space and it's easily accessible. And the fact that it comes with a USB type C cable and all that, so you can just hook it up to your laptop based on whatever cables you have. So it's portable in that sense. And so far in my experience, I've not had any problems with carrying it or using it on the go. So portability, durability, definitely a check on that as well. So there is a Samsung Magician software that comes with the drive when you first connect it to a computer. It is a great software for seeing like how much storage you have used or the health of the drive. And there are other features like if you want to test the drive for speed, there are built-in benchmark tests, which I did earlier as you have seen. So that's all really cool. The software also allows you to, you know, password protect your drive, or if you ever need to factory reset the drive by doing a computer complete wipe of the files and data that's in it. You could easily do that using the secure erase feature. Like let's say you used it for a couple of years or something and you got a new drive and you transferred everything. Maybe you just wanna wipe it out, give it to a friend or something. So you can easily do that with the software. And lastly, there's a diagnostic feature which you can use to help you troubleshoot any problems you may come across with the drive in the future. I really hope I never have to use this feature, but that's available in the software and it's a pretty neat software. So I would recommend using the software from time to time. Like I found the benchmark test pretty cool and good software. In terms of the price, it, it ranges. It depends on when you're buying. Sometimes on Amazon, you'll see some deals, but in most cases, it sells for 300 bucks. But from time to time, you can find it cheaper on Amazon. Like when I got it, it was like $70 off. So I bought it for like 230. Definitely take a look at the links below. So it is a little pricey, but you got to compare it to similar drives in the same capacity. And when comparing it to similar drives in the same capacity, and also performance. The other drives are kind of way more expensive. Some of them, they go for 390 to 400 bucks. So compared to that, it's definitely a better deal. It's definitely the best well-priced. So I would recommend it, especially for the four terabytes option, you're getting four terabytes for 300 bucks. And I think for current time, that's a, that's a really good deal. But having said that, it's still pricey, but you are getting four terabytes. So it really depends on your need. They do have other options such as the one terabyte, and the two terabyte options, which are much cheaper compared to the four terabytes option. So go with whichever one that best fits your needs. And personally for me, I needed a big drive. So I went with the $300 one and thankfully I had a good deal. So I got $70 off. So look for the deals and maybe you'll find a good deal as well. But it's definitely a great, well-rounded, fairly priced device. So overall, the T7 Shield is a great portable SSD with like, you know, modern design, impressive performance. Like I'm pretty impressed like it's perfect for on the go use whether you carry it in your backpack your jeans pocket or simply by hand it's highly durable and portable and it suits your needs both at you know at home and on the go and one thing I want to mention that was truly amazing is the fact that I edited this entire video with all video audio text and image files right from the drive itself and from importing the files to exporting the final product it felt as if I was using the local drive and I don't remember the last time I tried doing that 
that, but with the hard drive, it's kind of really tough. You will notice like maybe the files may be slow. Cause like when I pull out the files on Final Cut Pro, like I like to, you know, scan through the file, see which footage of the specific file I want to use in the video. That's smooth as if it's, it's on the local drive, but with the hard drive that might be, you know, laggy. So with the solid state drive, the T7, it's very smooth. It feels like you're using the files from the local drive. So it's definitely impressive. While it's undeniably impressive overall, I do wish it didn't attract as much dust as it does. Additionally, it's positioned in the more somewhat pricey side, but if you do compare it to the other ones, you are looking at a fairly priced product in terms of capacity and performance. So it's absolutely worth every penny. Well, that is it for now. If you liked the review, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell icon for more videos like this. And as always, have a superb day and thanks for watching.